Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joy Bettenhouse, and we will have a chance of showers and storms later this afternoon through the start of the evening. All that activity clears out for Saturday. We'll be left with a mostly sunny start to our weekend, but by Sunday we get yet again another round of showers and storms. Here's a low pressure system starting to occlude. You can see that counterclockwise flow helped give severe storms yesterday across the central and northern plains, but it has dropped a stationary front. This was originally a cold front that moved through this morning. And it's kind of stalled out across the Hawkeye State. It'll pick back up in speed and move across the area once again as a cold front, and that's going to be our focal point for showers and storms later on. These past two days were hot. Here's a look at the number of 90 degree days so far for the year. Three for Waterloo, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City, just two in Dubuque. Thankfully, we're not putting those numbers on the board today. Right now, we're in the 80s. 82 in Waterloo, 80 in New Hampton, 86 in Iowa City, 84 in Dubuque, 88 in Monticello. Notice a little bit cooler temperatures off to the west. That stationary front providing cloud cover to build, and those clouds are starting to spill into our western counties. Likely, our western counties have already reached their high temperature. Good news is dew points are down and a lot more down than what they were the past couple of days, so it's not feeling humid at all out there. 80s are actually quite comfortable after the 90 degree days and humidity that we had the past couple. Good news is though, dew points will continue to decrease throughout the end of our work week and start of our weekend. Slightly humid today, but mid 55 dew points there feeling comfortable through Saturday and they keep on falling through there. The Storm Prediction Center has actually downgraded our risk for severe storms. Yesterday we were in a level two risk for our far eastern counties. Notice that level two risk barely clips our far eastern and southeastern counties where the bulk of us are just in that level one risk. Not really expecting severe weather today, but can't rule out maybe one to two storms becoming strong to severe. And that's where we could see some of that large hail and damaging wind gusts. Notice the western counties will be missing out on this threat altogether. So once that stationary front picks up speed, it'll move eastward as a cold front throughout the rest of our early afternoon through the evening hours, likely seeing sometime between 4, 5, 6 o'clock. We'll see a couple showers and storms pop up along our eastern and southeastern counties out ahead of that front. And does appear that the greatest threat for severe weather will be south in Missouri and right along the Mississippi River. So that means most of those severe storms should actually push east into Wisconsin, Illinois, missing much of eastern Iowa altogether. Some of that storm activity may continue on through the late evening hours in our eastern and southeastern counties, though so a future track does not show that. So just keep that in mind if you will be out in the day or either later on tonight. Cold front sweeps through. All that rain is done, takes the cloud cover with it. It's going to help us kick off our Saturday with some sunshine. Today's highs were in the 80s with a partly cloudy sky and a chance of storms later on. Tonight, falling down to the mid 50s, quite cool after the past couple of days. We'll see that cloud cover decreasing later tonight through early parts of tomorrow. City by city forecast Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City in the 70s by Sunday. And if you like more of that spring weather that we should be having, we've got plenty of 60s, even 70 degrees through the next work week.